Hey everybody, my name is Robert. I am in front of my 2017 Toyota Tacoma with my oldest son, Jesse. You might have seen him in my previous videos. He's in a lot of my videos, my family too. And he's done oil changes in the truck and he's changed oil changes in mom's Lexus LX570. So one thing we wanted to talk about is this thing right here. This thing is the oil cartridge filter that Toyota has offered in many models of Toyotas and Lexus. The problem with this is that it's plastic and you would think, you know, what's wrong with plastic? There's no problem. I'm sure it's pretty strong. Yes and no. When he changed oil in his mom's LX570, unfortunately we heard a crack. Your crack is whacked. And then no, this leaks. It was a Saturday. He had to hurry up, rush to a dealer to pick up a new filter cartridge. Actually, I went to two of them. The first one didn't have it, or said they had it in stock, the last one, and then they, then they ended up not having it. So we ended up grabbing a metal one. And the reason why we got the metal one is because it's metal. It's gonna be stronger. I don't know if it makes any cooling difference because it's metal, heat dissipation, or anything. I just care that it was metal because this cracked. And if you're in a jam, because it was over torqued before, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> so in the, in the sense, this metal one is actually aluminum and it actually can be bought on Amazon. I'll send you the link. It's much, much cheaper getting it through Amazon versus the local dealer. I mean, way cheaper. So check that link so you can save some money. But going back, um, getting this plastic thing, uh, it, was, it was, I mean, when I actually didn't change my oil on my mom's um, IS250, I think it was a 2013 if I'm correct, they were metal. I remember using this metal one and it was hard to get off with a regular Toyota wrench. Now they changed it to plastic and it makes you wonder why they did that. There is one little caveat is that the little tubing, depending on your model car, um, this usually comes from two liter and up vehicles all the way up to the 5.7 V8. Um, and this little tubing right here, you can change and I'll, I'll show you actually, Jesse actually sh will show you how in a few seconds how to change it. But uh, he's a smart kid and he knows how to do these things without uh, too much instruction. So let me show you up close what this looks like. You can see here it's plastic and it cracked right here, but I don't know where the leak is. I don't see any holes or where the leak could be, but it definitely was leaking somewhere and uh, it was dripping when it was running. So yeah, I decided to go ahead and change it, but you can see it's plastic. And here's the Motor X wrench. So a lot of wrenches, uh, some of the cheaper wrenches, they actually don't have this one with the teeth. But see how we can get that with the teeth. So not only it has the edges for the bevel, bevel here on these edges, it grabs on the teeth as well. But it still gave out. And I think it was probably over torqued by the previous um, company mechanic because it was really hard for me to get off. We had to use a breaker bar. If you have used a breaker bar, it's too tight. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's how it is, the plastic one. The metal one's the same exact shape. It uses the same um, cartridge uh, drain plug here for the bottom. Uh, the only difference here is that you can see it doesn't have three of the teeth. It only has two, but the wrench fits perfectly in it. So you have more leverage to get everything out. This is aluminum. It might help with heat dissipation. Don't know. Not really a concern. I'm just concerned about longevity, that this will never crack. This is a tubing we're talking about that needs to be changed. Depends, Forerunners, Tacomas, they all have different engine sizes and they have different tubing. So make sure you change that. It's not hard. I'll show you in a second, or Jesse will show you in a second how to do it. But uh, this is a must have. I'm gonna be putting this one in this Tacoma later. This is actually in the Lexus already. Yeah. So this tube right here, uh, Jesse actually figured out how to uh, replace it. So you had to bend these out right here. Right, by, using a, by using a pick. Yeah, he used a pick and he bent these out so that way you could twist it and get this out because the tube right here is okay for a Tacoma, but for a 5.7 liter Tundra, um, Land Cruiser and LX570, 5.7, it was a longer tube and he did it. So this dude's freaking smart. You know, he's a good kid. And like spring I said, showed is here, here. spring. So that's how you would change that tube. So he figured that out all by himself. I said, Jesse, you figure it out for me because I'm driving and he did. So this dude's so awesome. You know, that's why I love him. And he's, 
He's one, one of my biggest helpers. He's always yeah, been my biggest because helper. Because I'm a very important person. You are very important. So I want to say thanks for coming to the channel. If you guys have any questions or comments, let us know. Um, the link for this product is in the description. Also, Motorvex's Vex's wrench is also in the description. It's a Forge product. So check it out, okay, guys? What do you say, Jesse? Uh, peace out. Peace out. <laughs>